Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up AMD Affinity for 3 monitors, which cables to use and which reductions to use, and also some tips that could be useful. So let's get started! The first reduction I'm going to show you is this, it's an active reduction from DisplayPort to VGA. It's the most important reduction, because when you are using three or more monitors, the third monitor or the third and fourth and so on, has to be connected with the display port, otherwise it won't work. Also keep in mind that this reduction has to be active. If it's active, it includes a little chip that converts the signal. If it's not active, it's just a cable and your video card won't recognize the third or higher monitor. The second one is a reduction from DVI-D into HDMI. I'm using this reduction because my monitor doesn't have DVI input. It's shame, but never mind, this reduction is really cheap and it does great work. So, now I will show you how I would set up AMD Affinity. Well, in fact I wouldn't, but I have already done this. So, here is it. Let's plug in our active display port into VGA reduction. But I would recommend you to use an active display port into HDMI reduction because I found out that there are some ghosts on the third monitor and it's not as good as I thought, but it's nothing to cry for. Let's move on. Here we have our second reduction is the DVI-D into HDMI. I heard that you have to check if your card supports more than one reduction. Uh, I didn't check it out, but I had no problem, so everything is okay for me, everything's working perfect. For our last monitor, I will use HDMI cable. Uh, it's just a normal HDMI cable with uh, 3D support and Ethernet support and stuff like this, I don't know. Uh, just plug it in and you're good to go. And there's another thing I wanted to tell you. If you are using VGA cable, please check out if it has all 15 pins, because if it doesn't, the cable wouldn't be able to transfer full 1080p signal, so please pay attention to this. So, let's set up AMD Affinity in AMD Catalyst Control Center. It's easy, don't worry. Just right click on your desktop and hit AMD Catalyst Control Center. Then click on AMD Affinity Multi Display and create Affinity Display Group. Hit apply button and let's continue. Now select how many monitors and which layout would you like to use. In my case it's 3x1 so I select 3x1 and hit next. Now wait a couple of seconds and let's start the arrangement of your uh, multi-monitor desktop. Now check which of your monitors is highlighted with blue color. In my case is the middle monitor so that will be number one. Uh, my left monitor will be number two and my right monitor will be number 3. So now you have set up AMD Affinity, the basic AMD Affinity. Let's move on. Well, you haven't set it up completely. Now you can also slide your screens up and down, but I really don't want to do this because I have three identical monitors. So I just click next button and uh, I am ready. Now you just... Um, need to save your AMD Affinity Display Group and I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, that's the basic AMD Affinity setup. If you want to remove the gap between monitors, the pixel gap between monitors, then follow this. Right click on your desktop AMD Affinity Catalyst, uh, AMD Catalyst Control Center um, and then click AMD Affinity Multi Display and select Adjust Basal Compensation. So again hit Apply and you should see a yellow triangle 
like me. And I think this is okay. This is okay for me. But you can also move it by these two arrows. If you want to uh, jump to another monitor, then hit this arrow and click no because you want to set the remaining triangle. Now click OK because this is OK for me and the desktop is set up. You can see that there are some more pixels between monitors so the resolution of your desktop is now higher. Now you can set the resolution for your desktop and for your games. It doesn't matter, it depends just on you. I personally prefer to set resolution for your desktop uh, as normal 31080p displays. So um, click display resolution and slide it down to uh, 5760 by 1080. That's the basic 3 full HD monitor resolution. And if you want to change the resolution in games, that's no problem. Just uh, select your resolution and click on the highest resolution possible. It could be different, so I have something like 6048 by 1080, it doesn't matter. So guys, that's everything from me, thank you for watching my video, it's my first commented video and I am really not an English native speaker, so I th if there were any mistakes, please, I'm sorry. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and leave a comment, or subscribe if you want to see more uh, gaming videos and hard hardware tips and stuff and videos like this. So that's everything from me, thanks for watching again, and have a nice day!